and we could we could actually pass the tree. This two years ago when he came in here a year and a half ago, I asked them, I mean, because that immediately went in a month, can we just create one that can use hundred percent for county road? Yes, you can. We could use one hundred percent of it for county yeah. road. But we're still I know you're not. Yeah, but the road's not there. You're going to get 100% of nothing. We already get that 100%. If you build no, a no. new road, you get taxes no. based on that new road. No. So you're talking, we're talking about the tree that's right now on the tow road that's in place. Correct. You're getting that money. It, I mean, it's there. If you created the tree and used 100% for county uh, roads, you're getting it. If you use 50% for county roads, 50% for the net RMA, you're getting it. Well, all we would get is any incremental, incremental, growth, incremental with valuations. And, and what happens if you look at the total study? When we opened from 31 to I 20, it was projected to go up about 20 percent. It actually went up about I think about 70 percent on traffic. So the projection from from I 20 to the North Linder Relief Line, which will be predominantly heavy traffic, which is your your 18 wheelers, things like that, in transit that are just in commerce down 69. That's that's all new revenue of increase. We're not getting up anything. We're getting the same dollars we've gotten. We'll just get more dollars because then it'll be developed out. I mean, so I'm not gonna be wrong. I absolutely wrong. I've been wrong a lot of times in my life. I know all these tax dollars today in Smith County. We're People say, you know, some of my dearest, closest, concerned friends say, y'all got to take care of your own problems. Man, that's what we're trying to do. We just all look at different ways of, of doing it. But I have sat down and talked to the director and commissioners of TxDOT. They're, they're, it's an awesome project. Does it take the top priority for us? No, because they have proven they put a lot of money towards it. Yeah, they think it's an awesome project because they're not having to spend the money because they didn't spend their money properly and then bumping it down to the county level. And, 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 and I'm going to drop it, but I'm going to say one more thing. And this is exactly what he said. He said, we don't fight your political battles for you. We don't. He said, we're not interested in that at all. There's too many communities that are uniform that come in and say, hey, we want to do this. Lindell, I mean, uh, Longview did it with several of theirs. They were excited over it. They were, thought it was a great deal to partner with TechStop to put some money in it and get it. That project moved up about 10 or 15 years. He said, we're not going to fight political battles for you. You come with a plan, how we can help, and we're going to try to help you move it up for you. The best of my recollection, I, I recall, if everything went really well, it's somewhere around Thirty-seven million dollars if this growth would play over the period of the TRC with nineteen, you know, somewhere around eighteen, nineteen million going fifty percent to county, fifty percent to the uh, trees, uh, or, or whatever, you know, so, several million over the time. I mean, you know, that's you know, the sixteen to eighteen million that, that, that we gave away, sixteen or eighteen million dollars that didn't get to go to the sheriff's department, didn't get to go to the you know, other things that we need to spend money on. You know, I just, you know, I, I, I just cannot see it when it's going to get built a few years later than it normally would. You know, I am concerned about giving up everything uh, because clearly we have county needs that, uh, you know, just other governmental needs. You have the sheriff's department, you have the jail, you have other uh, facilities in the county, in the county roads. I, and I said that all along, I didn't want to do any more than 50%. I'm now to the point where I'm thinking in the range of 15 to 25% of incremental growth in a shorter, a shorter term. So um, and that these are things that we can discuss, and I would be in favor of dedicating uh, the anything over that percentage just to county roads for a shorter period, three to five years. It gives us um, it gives us some additional money that we can use for these projects with that, you know, with the additional two million, almost three million in the budget this year for additional road projects. We're going to have the five-year road plan, so that helps us get those things completed. Fifteen plus four hundred fifty. That's where I'm so we got, we got we got several members of the public that needs the most oh, okay. uh, We call him John Kennan. Kennan. Okay. Okay. 